The first is, and I hope you have had an experience of that, talking about possible futures actually makes it easier to sit down with people you disagree with. Because you're talking about possibilities. You can agree that different futures might be possible even if you disagree which future is preferable. So it allows a much broader space of conversation. And the fact that there's no insistence on agreement on a preferred outcome or on one scenario also allows you to continue that conversation for a longer period of time. And some of you, certainly we had yesterday a group that said, oh, we're stuck, we're thinking of this scenario and that scenario. The beauty of scenario work is they always come in a set. It's never one story. Because the future is never just one possibility. There are multiple possibilities. And you'd better be prepared to think about the range of possibilities. So in this sense, disagreement and different perspectives actually help you in your strategic thinking rather than limit you. A second point that we found is that this kind of futures thinking allows you to, in a way, almost step away from the present and lift your gaze to a longer time horizon and look at a broader context. And you started doing that beautifully in this group by starting to look already, we work on one driving force, but we actually bring in elements from another driving force. A third reason is that it's at the moment, what you've had is had a conversation with people that are committed and focused on the justice file. And you've been working on this file. There's a reason you're here. But obviously, the future of justice and reconciliation is going to be determined and is going to be shaped <coughs> by a whole range of people. People with different interests and different priorities in relation to justice and reconciliation. So, talking about the future and this kind of future thinking is a very useful way of bringing people into that conversation that you might not usually engage with. It is a way to bring in youth into the conversation who are going to be hugely affected by the harms that have been done in society and in their community and often either to themselves or to their families. So there's a whole space, it kind of broadens who can participate and who will participate. And then remember this notion of the possible and the impossible futures. You started having discussions around, is this possible? Under what conditions could this be possible? That's a very important part of this kind of scenario work. So what scenario work and what scenario teams often do is it really challenge them to set aside wishful thinking. Somebody, there were a couple of people in the opening sessions on Monday that spoke about the need for pragmatism. So there's always a balance between the creativity and the looking at the pragmatism. So it's like subjecting big ideas to scrutiny. And then finally, it allows, it uses the imagination to move forward. Nothing in this world has ever been, been happening without somebody dreaming it up. Imagination is an incredibly powerful tool because the more able we are imagining, the more we can help shape a future we want to bring about.